Jeff's goals after graduation were simple. He wanted to climb to the top of his profession, make lots of money, and retire by 15. He soon ticked off his achievements. CEO of his company, big house, fancy cars, exotic vacations, and a large bank balance. Along the way, his wife left him. His adult children were estranged, and although he contributed regularly to his church's building fund, he remained uninvolved beyond occasional worship services. He had no close friends, and when he barely survived a heart attack at 51, he knew it was time to re-examine his life. Turn my eyes towards her tattoos and not towards selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Psalm 119 verses 36 to 37. Setting goals related to money, work, success, and power are not necessarily wrong. However, if pursuit of them causes us to turn our sights away from God, His plans for us and the relationships He calls us to, we will end up feeling as empty as Mark. Do we need to reevaluate our life goals? Heavenly Father, my joy and my delight is to do your will, and I pray that I may learn to walk by means of the Spirit more and more with every passing day. Your word assures me that if I walk in the Spirit, I will be walking according to the will of the Father and living in the perfect submission of the Holy Spirit. Teach me day by day, Lord, to walk in the Spirit, to live in the Spirit, and to pray in spirit and truth. Lord, please use me as you will in the furtherance of your kingdom. For your praise and glory, in Jesus' name I pray, amen.